Ladies and gentlemen, we present The Navy Lark, written by Laurie Wyman and George Evans and starring John Pertwee, Leslie Phillips and Stephen Murray. The British Broadcasting Corporation is a truly wonderful and enterprising organisation. Well, that should make sure of my pension for a start. <laughs> uh, for instance, on sound radio, apart from superb light entertainment, there are magnificent drama programmes interspersed with up-to-the-minute news. And if that doesn't get me a bonus as well as my pension, nothing will. <laughs> but of course, as well as the BBC's exciting sound radio programmes, they also give us compelling viewing on television. As a normal, full-blooded woman, I must confess I thoroughly enjoyed watching Casanova. <laughs> As normal, lovable Leslie, I thoroughly enjoyed watching the crumpet Casanova was watching. <laughs> you... uh, that's quite enough, Lord Nelson and uh, Lady Hamilton. Eh? Eh? I've got work to do, even if you haven't, and... Come to think of it, you have too, as you'll soon find out, Mr. Phillips. Eh, what? But I'm off duty. Oh, no, you're not. You're wanted in Commander Murray's cabin aboard HMS Troutbridge. At the double. Lummy, am I? Thanks very much. <laughs> in! Uh, good Michael de Morgan. Uh, 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 good Morgan de Michael. Uh, d did you want to see me, Commander de Murray? Hmm? Yes, Mr. Phillips. It's uh, rather urgent. I thought you ought to know that... Uh, oh, Leading Seaman Riddle, report, report to the bridge! Leading Seaman Riddle, report to the bridge! The IP like Vice Admiral Burwasher. Uh, sorry, sir, I couldn't hear anything because of the ICS. The what? Uh, internal communication speaker. I thought everyone knew that. <laughs> N-I-D, Mr. Phillips. What? No, I didn't. <laughs> I thought everyone knew that. Can't you turn it off, sir? In I see. No, I can't. <laughs> I thought everyone knew that. <laughs> OVC WID FAS. <laughs> ST. Hmm? <laughs> What's all that lot mean? Oh, very clever. Well, I didn't for a start. No, no, you're cheating. What was the ST bit on the end? So there. Oh. Well, in that case, um... G, um... GK. Hmm? Get knotted. <laughs> oh, well, if that's the case, all I've got to say is... Leading Seaman Riddle, really report time, to the bridge! The Leading we'll Seaman Riddle, report mm. to the bridge! Yeah. And that goes for your father, too. <laughs> oh, shut up! And while you're at it, smarten yourself up. In a few moments, Captain Povey's coming aboard and bringing Vice Admiral Burwasher with him. Uh, Burbly Burwasher? I wonder how he ever got the job. Well, for once in his life, he was in the right place at the right time. Oh. Mind you, he thought he was in the green stamp gift shop. <laughs> and after their lordships had congratulated him on his promotion, they were a bit astonished when he gave them six books of stamps and walked out carrying their bust of Lord Nelson. <laughs> oh, isn't that odd? I didn't know Lord Nelson had a bust. <laughs> I thought it was Lady Mr. Hamilton. Mr. Phillips! <laughs> Come in! Uh, Captain Povey and Vice Admiral Burwasher to see you, sir. And you're welcome, and I'm off. Uh, come in, gentlemen. Welcome aboard. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you very much, yes, sir. <clears throat> very nice of you, yes. Where the devil are you, Burwasher? <laughs> hello, hello, hello. This is a damn small room. <laughs> hang on, hang on. That's ugly. The floor's moving. Or is it you? No, 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 no. Got it, got it. Yes, must be on a ship. Well done, Burwasher. Brilliant thinking. You'll figure that out in a flash. Now then, think, man, think, 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 think. What the devil are you doing on a ship? <laughs> I don't know what you should do. You're the vice-admiral, am I? Yes. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Hello, these three idiots are looking at you. <laughs> I think they're expecting you to say something. Are they? Yes, they are. Think, man, think, think. There must be something you can say. You talked to people before. <laughs> got it, got it. Oh, good morning. Uh, good morning, <laughs> Yes, well, that should hold them for a bit. <laughs> Not long. Give me a bit of a breather. Now then, pull yourself together, Bowash. How on earth did you get here? By car, you fool. Oh, yes, of course, yes. Yes, that reminds me. 
On the way back to wherever I've come from, I do hope I've got enough petrol to get me to one of those garages giving away the bird life pictures. I only want two for the set. Do you really? Yes, I do. <laughs> All I'm short of is a robin red breast and a blue tit. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. They're getting restless again. Think, man, think, 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 think. Yeah, they, I know, yes, yes. Uh, how do you do? Uh, how, how do you do, do, sir? Great stuff, Burwasher. That how do you do stops them again in their tracks every time. Yes, yes. If I sat more Burwasher, do you think we could dispense with the social chit chat? Uh, yes, uh, yes, 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 by all means, yes. Who the devil's this fool? <laughs> Well, I don't know, but he looks important. Better keep him with him. Good man. Good man. Yes. 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 On the ball as usual. Yes. Funny. In all the pictures I've ever seen of Lord Nelson, he was completely flat. <laughs> she was the one with the big... <laughs> Hello. Hello. I like this blonde one. Yes. Yes, a man after my own heart. He doesn't know what the devil's going on either. <laughs> all we want from you, sir, are our sailing orders. Ah, yes, of course. Yes, that's it. Yes. <clears throat> now then. This is going to be a big surprise for you, but a BBC film television crew, complete with director, are coming aboard. They're aboard already, sir. Good, I'm glad it's been confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> Extraordinary, all those old masters being wrong, because in every single painting, it's definitely her who's got the big... Billy, please, my sad old Burwasher. Yes. Surely you've got Troutbridge's sailing orders with you in your briefcase? Oh, have I? Sharp, this one, sharp. <laughs> ah, here we are, yes. H. Miss Troutbridge. Yep. Leading Seaman Riddle, will you please report to the bridge? Come along now. Stop sulking. Right, uh, I won't be a tick, gentlemen. I'll just uh, nip up to the bridge and see what they... Uh, hang on. Something wrong here. My name's not Riddle, it's Burwasher. Is it? Yes. Well, carry on as if nothing has happened, yes. <clears throat> uh, sailing orders for HMS Troutbridge. <clears throat> it is agreed that here are the hands of the Lord, 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 the by the Ministry of the Lord, 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 the the Lord, 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 Time's been a bit on the involvement of the sick bay. <clears throat> well, that shouldn't cause any problems. Right, I'm off. I'm wanted on the bridge to see somebody called Riddle. Good morning. <laughs> Call this? Uh, four minutes past five, my love. Exactly. You know perfectly well that your coming home to Ramona time is exactly 5 p.m., not hours afterwards. But it's only four minutes, my love. Don't quibble. Where have you been until this unearthly hour? I telephoned your office at one minute past five, and the girl, Chasen, you pretend is your secretary, said you hadn't been in the office all day. Oh, you'll be proud of your Henry, my love. I've been involved with the BBC television film camera crew. They're making a documentary about the sinking of the German frigate Gesundheiten. Who knows? You might even see me on the box. Correction, in the box. <laughs> and it won't be 19 inches square. It'll be five feet, ten and a half inches long and six feet deep. I'm not a fool, you know. I know why you were with them. I saw that slut's picture in yesterday's local rag. Luscious Frieda, somebody or other. The bubble bath beauty arrives in Portsmouth, fresh from her success in Carry Up Your Bosun's Pipe. <laughs> oh, no, my love. Oh, yes, my love. No, oh, it all adds up now. I've noticed your mind hasn't been on your housework for days. <laughs> You've even skimped flicking my dear mother's whatnot with your little feather duster. <laughs> oh, my love. And only yesterday I saw you through the keyhole, tying a piece of string round the middle of the vacuum cleaner bag, switching it on, waiting for the two sections of the bag to fill, and then shouting with wild abandon, Oh, Frida, what big... Eyes, <laughs> libertine, nay, lecherous. Oh, I promise you, I shan't see her again, my love. Now, Frida and the rest of the film crew are at sea aboard Troutbridge. Troutbridge is playing the part of the German warship Gesundheiten. Commander Murray and all the crew are changing into German uniforms, and they're going to fly a swastika. In fact, all the men aboard are taking part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, 
<laughs> I bet you've never seen one as big as that before. No, I haven't. Look, I'm sure it is winking at me. <laughs> <laughs> That's not all it does. <laughs> How long is it since you have had it? Well, actually, ever since I was five. And you know, I can still remember how excited I was when I first heard him go... <laughs> Mind you, not long ago, Teddy was taken terribly ill. And instead of going... <laughs> he started going... <clears throat> <laughs> Mr. Teddy Bear. Now, Leslie, darling, what else would you like to do with me before I start filming? <laughs> I mean, where else would you like to show me aboard your lovely ship? Well, perhaps we could go back to the wardroom, and after that, <laughs> you can see my cabin. No, no, you silly, oh, lovable, <laughs> doom <-cuff. laughs> I mean, your doom workings. <laughs> My doom workings? Ah! Oh. <laughs> yes, then it had better be the bridge, because, to be perfectly honest, I'm none too sure of the way to the engine room. <laughs> Only Mr. Phillips could spare the time to be up here on the bridge and attend to his navigational duties instead of entertaining film actresses on a grand tour of the ship. Leading Seaman Riddle! Why won't you come to the bridge? We know you're aboard somewhere! See, Commander Murray said, why do you want Leading Seaman Riddle on the bridge? It's been so long since I sent for him, I've forgotten. <laughs> well, frankly, said, I think it's a bit much that you and I are stuck up here slaving over the hot helm while Mr. Phillips is down below slaving over a jiggling jerry. Ah, <laughs> uh, quite. What's your opinion of the director of the film, Martin Pennington Didsbury? Oh. Don't you think he's a bit of a raving... Uh, oh, good morning, Mr. Pennington Didsbury. Uh, just call me Penny, love. Everybody does. <laughs> <laughs> Have you met my PA? <laughs> Pardon? Personal assistant, love, Everett Potter. Just call me Fatty. <laughs> Everybody does. Penny? Potty? <laughs> no wonder they get on so well together. <laughs> right, uh, now, loves, we must get this show on the road. Oh, bravo, Penny. <laughs> A bon mot, if ever I heard one. Mm, gratis, Potty. Yes, yes, I think I can see it all from here. I can pan in, zoom down, then track across. Oh, super, super. <laughs> There's just, just one thing, that dreadful old wooden chair in the middle has simply got to go. Ooh. Dreadful wooden chair? Yes. You can't take that out, sir. It's the captain's chair. It's tradition. It's the 70s, love. If he must have a chair, get him something chintzy. <laughs> After all, we are in colour, you know. Yes, yeah, so am I in bright puce and getting more and more purple every penny a pot in minute. <laughs> Look, if you think for one single Pertwee. ing minute the captain's chair is leaving the Pertwee. ing bridge, then I can only suggest you've got another Pertwee. ing thought coming. <laughs> penny, you're absolutely right. Absolutely super. These two are naturals. Yeah. Naturals. Mm. Particularly in this one. <laughs> Particularly in this one. Yeah. It looks so manly and classical. A real womanizer, if ever I saw one. Yeah. Mm. Me? Oh, oh, oh no, no, no! I, you're mistaken. I, uh, I'm terribly happily married, and I, I've got a lovely wife at home. My wife is my life, and in any case, when it comes to um, a bit on the um, um, extra marriage, uh, I, I never indulge. Potty, oh. you're absolutely right, love. He's a natural. Mm. He's the dolly swinger of all time. Uh, it's a lie. I, I, I'm happily married. I've got a lovely wife at home and I, I, I never indulge. After you, <laughs> little Liebling. Danke schön. <laughs> the schöner, the better. <laughs> Hello, Penny. Hello, Potty. Hello, Hello Dax. Oh, and who is this? 
Aren't you the handsome one? Mm. <laughs> Who cast you as the captain? Mm. Uh, actually, madam, uh, uh, actually, he's for real. I'll say he is. Oh, I could go for you. Mm. Uh, he, he never indulges. But I do. <laughs> Forget it, Clagface. <laughs> How well you feel your uniform, Captain. <laughs> She's window shopping again, Ducky. Oh, what a beautiful profile you have, Liebchen. Liebchen? Uh, uh, no, madam, please. I, 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 I really must. Let um, me uh, feel your muscles. Uh, mm, <laughs> so beautifully built, should see. Beautifully built shirts, eh? I suppose I, I do keep myself in, in good nick. What a magnificent lover you would make. Mm. <laughs> are you, tell me, are you married? Uh, um, oh, well, um, sort of. <laughs> Sort of. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Only to the Admiral's daughter, madam, and you can't get more sort of than that. <laughs> now, 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 steady down, loves. I suggest we park your little boat here for a bit, and you chappies get changed into the German uniforms that we supply. <laughs> I said, wait, and leave me ding-dongs alone, you debauch. <laughs> Planderer. Right, permission to enter, white feet and straight into the lounge. But I'm not allowed in the lounge on weekdays, my love. I am well aware of that. But I have uncovered unquestionable evidence that sometime during my absence, you have sneaked in here to leer at this load of unmitigated filth. But it's a technical magazine, Ramona, my love. It's the TV Watchers Weekly. I got it because of this documentary film we're making aboard Trout Bridge. I know why you got it all right. Look at it. Page after page of half-dressed pictures of that German harpy Frieda somebody or other. I mean, look at that for a start. But she's wearing a mink coat. Exactly. We can all guess how she got that. <laughs> I could have had a wardrobe full of mink coats any time if I'd been prepared to divulge my anatomy to the public gaze. You wouldn't have made a second-hand rabbit. What's that? <laughs> uh, I said... I said I shan't make a habit of it, my love. You certainly won't. <laughs> now, how long is this half-naked hussy going to be cavorting about on one of your little boats? I've no idea, my love. As a matter of fact, I was going to ask Admiralty that myself when I rang them to tell them that Troutbridge was the ship that... Oh, good grief. Language? No, 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 this is serious. I forgot to tell anybody that Troutbridge has put to sea and that the flagship of the Admiral aboard is in the same area. If he sees a German warship firing guns, he'll go mad. <laughs> when you are. <laughs> Camera's all set up for the action scene with your guns pooping off. Yeah, yeah, mine here. Long live the fuhrer. Up. <laughs> up. <laughs> up Goring. Uh. Up Ribbentrop. <laughs> up Goebbels. <laughs> <laughs> up everybody. <laughs> We will donner and blutzen the British Schweinhutz über the Wasser. <laughs> In the name of the glorious Fatherland, Deutschland, Deutschland, Uber Ellis, Sieg Heil, Sieg Heil, Sieg Heil, Sieg Heil, Sieg Heil. <laughs> I think you're slightly overplaying the part. <laughs> he always does, Chief. 
That's why he's in the Navy and not in television. If he were an actor, he'd be fired. Uh, I'd be what? Fired! <laughs> Lummy, I wonder where that one went. You know, oh, one of the joys of being an Admiral Arnbridge is that you've got your own flagship so you can get away from all the other idiots and steam out here for a bit of peace and quiet. Shades of Nelson's knickers, who threw that? <laughs> Somebody's made a booby. Boobies, yes, yes, boobies. <laughs> Reminds me of those two fan dancers in Cairo. My word, what a wonderful pair they were. Yes, yes. Each one was as good as the other. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. shut up, you crumpet, happy old twit. <laughs> Somebody's firing big guns at us. Big guns, yes, big guns, big guns. Big guns, yes. Whoppers, yes, yes. Not enough of them about. No, no. Except in Cairo, of course. Yes, yes. Armbridge! Yes. Oh. <laughs> no. Creeping Ivy, it's a blasted German raider. Gun crew, action stations. No, 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 the war's over. What? Yes, yes. Over years ago. Monty signed the peace. Yes, what? yes. In a railway carriage, you know. Yes, yes. Monty? He was in the blasted army anyway. They never know what's going on. I'm the Admiral and they're my guns. Gun crew, fire! Keep loading! Blast them out of the water! Everybody down! Here comes another lot! Stop! Stop! I never ordered all these! The BBC will never stand for all this! I, I'm over my programme budget already! Never mind the shells, we don't get a signal through to the Admiral to stop him firing! The BBC will have to buy a new frigate as well! Yeah, and a new Pertwee. We are full ahead both, Mr. Phillips. Pertwee's just remembered an urgent appointment, sir. About 50 miles away, in the opposite direction. <laughs> Leading Seaman Riddle! Cancel all previous announcements. Stay where you are. Sorry about this, but I've just found out that he's been here all the time. I'm Seaman Reading. <laughs> Ruined. That's what I am, ruined. Poor Captain Pove. Have you got a headache? Yes, I have. <laughs> Just relax. Let me stroke the back of your neck there. Oh, would you? Oh, would you please? Thank you. Madam, madam, where are you going with your hands? Madam, <laughs> what are you doing? Those are my braces. I know, Liebling. I'm undoing them because you're under tension. <laughs> Captain Povey, sir, whatever you do, don't stand up. <laughs> Come along, chaps, but let's linger the other side of the door. I've got a feeling this conversation might sound a tiny touch familiar. What a beautiful profile you have here, Captain. Oh, oh no, really. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> Let me feel your muscles. Mmm, so beautifully built. Oh, blimey. She can't be going to tell him what a magnificent lover he would make. What a magnificent lover you would make. <laughs> <laughs> right. Blimey, Mrs. Povey! Where is my husband? Uh, well, he's uh, in, in his office. Uh, I'm afraid you can't go in there. I'm afraid he's got rather a lot on. I doubt if he has now. <laughs> <laughs> the lucky swine. <laughs> Nonsense out of my way! Are you married, darling? Yes, he is put him down his mind. Oh, good grief, my wife. I most certainly am. Your wife? But she is the photograph on the desk. I thought that was your mother. What? <laughs> Listen to me, you, you German Jezebel. At least I am not a British bulldog in an old-fashioned skirt. Oh. oh, I'm glad you persuaded us to wait, sir. I have a feeling this is going to be rather good. Henry Pogue, we are leaving. Yes, of course, Ramona, my love, this instant. Oh, oh my trousers. <laughs> Captain Poby, sir, we warned you not to stand up. Jump 
Kurt Green, Leslie Phillips and Stephen Murray have been filming themselves stupid in the Navy Lark, written by Laurie Wyman and George Evans. John Pertby was the Chief Petty Officer, Leslie Phillips was the Sub-Lieutenant, Stephen Murray was the CO, Captain Povey was played by Richard Caldicott, Ray Admiral Armbridge was Michael Bates, Mrs Povey was Heather Chasen, the Admiral was Tenniel Evans. And the ship's company gave a special welcome to June Whitfield as Frida. And the show was produced by Alistair Scott Johnston. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.